An eastern diamondback rattlesnake curls up in the sun just a few feet away from a very busy U.S. Highway 82 in Atkinson, Georgia. This is definitely not an ideal spot to catch a nap, but with much of the surrounding timberland underwater, there were probably few spots to choose from. The Satilla River is well out of its banks, nearly 10 feet above flood stage. According to the National Weather Service, the river crested at 22.96 feet on April 7, 2009, just over four feet shy of the record flood stage set in 1929 and just inches away from the mark set during the legendary 100-year flood of 1948. The fury of the river flowing beneath the bridge here on U.S. Highway 82 is nothing short of incredible, and the massive ditches and lowlands alongside create acres of floodplain for the water to escape into. Yet, the amount of water was so great, the Georgia Department of Transportation was almost forced to close that section of the road. It's a dramatic scene, and yet even more dramatic from the water. Captain Scott Owens has visited the Satilla River his entire life, and he cannot recall ever seeing it this high. Scott is a charter fisherman in Brunswick, but he also volunteers his time as a member of the Satilla Riverkeeper Organization, a group dedicated to enforcing clean water laws and regulations on the river, gathering detailed scientific knowledge about it, and creating awareness among the general public about its importance. Scott and his friends took their boat to explore a populated area of the river above the US 82 bridge named Warner's Landing, and they were amazed at what they found. River cabins that were usually well above the high water line were several feet underwater. They witnessed thousands of dollars worth of personal property damage and an immeasurable amount of pollution and human impact to the river. The worst thing in the world you can do out here, in my opinion, is to come out here and throw your trash everywhere. It, it just, it ruins it. And this is our river. People that live in South Georgia and in Georgia, um, this is a piece of heaven that, that, we, uh, that we still have, luckily, uh, because of organizations like the Satilla River Keepers. They also found this armadillo so exhausted from trying to find dry ground that he was almost willing to be rescued. Almost willing, that is. Oh, there he goes. Oh, sorry, he's got enough energy to do that, he's doing better. <laughs> As the animals cope with the challenge of the high water levels, Scott and his Satilla Riverkeeper organization face a greater challenge as the waters recede. Floods like this make it obvious that the Satilla River is in danger. To learn more about the Satilla River and the Satilla Riverkeeper organization, visit www.satillariverkeeper.org 